All right, guys, this is just a quick video to show you how you can give your AI assistant access to the current date and time in VAPI. If you're building an AI appointment setter, a receptionist, or really any other agent that needs to book appointments, then this is going to be really useful. So in this video, we'll look at the snippet that you can add directly into your prompt. I'll show you how to customize it for your own time zone. And I'll also give you a complete prompt template that I use to build AI receptionists. Just before we get into adding that snippet to your prompt, I thought it would be useful just to show you what variables you have access to in VAPI. So you can see here in the documentation, they've actually laid out a few variables that we can use inside our prompt. This now, date, time, month, these are all recognized by your agent and you can insert these directly into your prompt. Your agent will recognize them and then it will have access to those fields. The only issue you're going to run into now is this is for UTC time, so universal standard time. So for anyone based in the UTC time zone, this is going to be all you need. You can insert these variables in and your agent will be able to use them. But for everyone else, you're going to have to take a few extra steps to get the current date and time in your own time zone. So for example, if I'm in Berlin, I'd have to ask my agent to add an hour to UTC to get Central European time. Or if you're in New York, you'll have to instruct to minus a few hours to get New York time. So this is extra steps, it's extra complexity that you probably don't want to add into your prompt. And there is a better way to do that. So if we scroll down here, we can see that they've actually have advanced date and time. And with this script, we can get the current date and time in our location just by updating this field. So with this snippet, we don't have to worry about adding extra steps. We don't have to worry about instructing our agent to plus or minus hours or daylight savings or anything like that. We can essentially insert this snippet, add our location here, and the agent will then have access to the current date and time where that location is. All you need to do is update your location right here on the right. You don't need to worry about these values here. These are essentially just telling the agent the format that the date and time should be, re should be returned. Okay, so let's look at how you would actually add this to your prompt and where's the best place to do that. First of all, if you haven't signed up to VAPI, you can do that. Um, I've left a link in the description. You can create a free account. And I've also left a link to this full um, prompt template for you to download. This is a complete template that I've used to build AI receptionists. And I've also left space for you to fill in details for your company. So if you want, you can download that and you can follow along with what I'm doing here. But essentially, if we scroll down here through the different headings and the different sections of our prompt, you can see we get to conversation steps. And this is where I'm going to insert the date and time. So first of all, the agent is instructed to greet the caller, and then it's going to do a quick check on the current date, time, and also office hours. So you can see I've inserted my snippet here, and it's um, for the location in Berlin. And then I'm asking the agent to check the office hours. So in this case, it's going to be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. And then based on whether it's inside or outside of office hours, the, AI, the agent's going to respond in a different way. So if it's within office hours, the agent will say, I can help you get an estimate, I can help you make an on-site appointment, or I can transfer you to a member of the team. If it's outside of office hours, it's going to respond a little bit differently. It'll say, just to let you know, we're currently closed, but I can still assist you with booking an appointment or taking a message for the team. So this is a good example of why date and time is so useful to have in your prompt and why it's useful to give your agent access to it. By having access to the current time and also understanding what the office hours are, you can control different paths in the conversation and basically set up different steps for the AI to follow. Obviously, you want to avoid the situation where the AI is transferring calls to members of the team during the middle of the night. So giving it access to the time, you have control on uh, how it responds and how it manages those different scenarios. Okay, so now you know how to give your agent access to the current date and time. You can see the different use cases and why that might be valuable. I've also included just some example cities here so you can directly copy these. And I'll include a link to that AI receptionist prompt for you to follow along with if you wanna use that. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.